Hi students, let us see some examples on frequency polygon. The following table gives the distribution of students of two sections of a class according to the marks obtained by them. So this is the table which is given to us and it consists of the marks of students of two sections of a class in a particular test. So each section has their marks and their frequencies of number of students. We need to represent the marks of students of both these sections by using frequency polygon graphs and two frequency polygon graphs like separate poly polygon frequency polygon polygon graph for each section but we need to represent that in a same graph so two frequency polygons we need to create but we need to represent those two frequency polygons into a single graph so for section a we are we have prepared this table which consists of class marks okay as uh, i hope you remember the method of class marks class marks is nothing but upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 of the class intervals which are given to us so for section a we have prepared a column of class marks and we have taken the marks and frequency column as it is from the question so for example if we take uh, if you consider the class interval of 0 to 10 then the class mark of that particular class interval will be equal to 0 plus 10 divided by 2 right which is equal to 5 so similarly for all the other class intervals we have like that then for section b also we have created another table which also gives us the class marks of this particular section that is section b Again, we have gone through the same method that class marks is equals to lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So, for example, if we consider for the class range or class interval of 10 to 20, we can see that 10 plus 20 divided by 2 is equals to 15, which gives us a class mark of 15 but for that particular range. Similarly, we can get the class marks for all the other range. As you can see that the marks like the class intervals for both the sections a and b were similar similar class intervals similar class sizes class widths that's why the class marks also of these two sections are similar or rather equal for each class but you can see that the difference over here is about the frequencies now we need to construct the frequency polygon for each of these tables like for section a and section b as you can see on the screen we have created this frequency polygon for section a you can see that we have pointed all the points like we have marked all the points according to the frequencies and class marks similarly we have for section b also we have marked all the points of class marks and frequencies now you can observe from the graph that on the x axis which is our horizontal axis we have taken the class marks right which are ranging from 5 10 15 20 and going on till 45 which so this is our variables okay and on the y axis which is our vertical axis we have taken the frequencies we have mentioned the ranges of frequencies right and again there we have taken the scale of one unit is equals to two students like that so uh, there we have mentioned the frequencies which is nothing but the values of our variables now again in this graph you can see that there is a kink right kink which we have mentioned on the horizontal axis which is nothing but the break on axis now why we have used a kink over here because on the horizontal axis our ranges or our data is not starting by zero it is starting with some other number which is not zero right it is starting with five so that is why we have used a break on axis which is nothing but the kink on this axis and uh, we have placed it on the horizontal axis now according to the frequencies for each table we have plotted the midpoints or we can say class marks uh, on the graph 
like for section a for for the class mark of 5 there are three such students those who have scored five those who have scored the marks which are ranging between 0 to 10 while in section b there are five such students those who have scored the marks which are ranging between 0 to 10 similarly for all the other class marks and their frequencies we have plotted these frequency polygons and hence we have plotted two different frequency polygons but we have plotted it on a same graph so that is how we plot a frequency polygon and it is very simple to plot it with the help of class marks method so always go for mostly go for class mark method because it is very less time consuming and you can easily prepare the frequency polygons using this method